Welcome, I will be teaching you how to make big animated doors on PirateCraft. As you can see, I've already made my two doors. We kick things off by doing slash doors, clicking new door, and then we can do slash name door, and then create a name for your door. You can call this what you want, I've just named it the left one. You'll be given a tool to select your door. Select the two furthest points of your door, and then you need to select the hinge which you want your door to turn on. You can test your door works by doing slash doors, selecting your door, and clicking toggle. If it opens, it's worked. If your door doesn't open, it could be that your door is obstructed by something like a block, a vine, uh, a ladder. And if your door opens the wrong direction, you can do slash doors, you can click your door, and you can change the direction that it opens. You can have an auto-close timer. Uh, this is set by going into the menu, uh, clicking it, and then typing in set auto-close time, followed by amount of seconds you want the door to automatically close after. Once we've created our second door, we will be able to have both of them open and close at the same time automatically through redstone. You do this by simply creating a second door the same way we created our first door. As I go through the process of setting up the second door, I'll quickly explain redstone and how it works. Um, the way we power these doors with redstone is we use a power block, which is a gold block, just a normal gold block, we place that directly under the column where we've got our hinge for each door, power that, and that will control our doors for us. This is just the default location for the power block. If you do struggle to find it, you can go into the menu and click door info, and that'll tell you the exact location the power block needs to be. If you wanted to experiment, you can use these doors on creative as well as survival. Um, another key piece of information is that when these doors are moving, when they're animating, um, you can walk through the blocks so be aware that these could be used for traps. As you rank up, you will gain the ability to have more doors simultaneously. And there are more door types. Do try them out because they're the same setup method as this. What I'm doing here is I'm going to show you how to relocate your power block. You can do this once you've ranked up. You put your power block where you want it. Go through the menu, select relocate power block. Use the tool it gives you to select your new one. This works wirelessly and needs to be within 25 blocks of your door. Now, you need to be aware you can't use the same power block for multiple doors. Uh, it will give you this error. The way you get around this is by just creating a second power block for your second door, and then you connect them with redstone. So as you power your first power block, that will send redstone power to the second power block, which will open your second door. And that is how you create two animated swinging doors on PirateCraft that both simultaneously open, powered by redstone. Thank you for watching. Do make sure you try out the other door types because there are a few to play around with.